What is going on, boys and girls? We are back doing the Falcons draft. We're doing a mock draft of the entire draft the Falcons are going to have. Let's get right into this. They have a um, decent amount of picks. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, so they got the number eight overall pick. If a quarterback sides to him, which, I mean, technically one did. I'm not going to take him, though, here. I, I think they probably might take him if he got there, but he's not going to. They might just take this tackle, Peter However you pronounce that last name, high rating. I don't love that he gave up a sack, but just an absolute phenomenal season. I think they could use a little bit of help on the offensive side of the ball. And the Falcons end up with the 44th overall pick. This is where they might glance at some quarterbacks. There is uh, Tanner McKee here. I think this could be a solid pick. Just nothing crazy stat-wise, though. I mean, I don't love it. And it looks like, yeah, somebody... Malik Hooker went two picks sooner. That kind of sucks for them. Anyhow, so we're going to, you know, continue to kind of glance around. I don't think there's any worth taking a guy that early on. They, they need an edge. I take this guy all the time, though. So I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> I'm assuming he's going to actually be on in a real draft. They also kind of want line, uh, run, uh, wide receivers. So they'll probably take the reach and draft uh, Josh Downs here. I think without a doubt, I think they're going to probably end up taking a receiver to add to their group. See what they could do offensively without, you know, whatnot. Uh, this Nick Herber, he's solid. I mean, 11 sacks is crazy. There's no way they're not picking him in the third round. I think that is a fantastic pick for the Falcons. Once we start getting into these later rounds, I don't know all the guys too well, so I kind of got to look at some of the stats and kind of compare a little bit. Tanner McKee is still here, and we're talking about in the fourth round. They pull the trigger. They're going to pull the trigger. <laughs> I think they have to. They kind of have to. Uh, I might look about trying to get a nice safety for them here. You know, and, uh, Anthony Johnson Jr., possibly. Maybe a Kobe Turner who... Apparently is fantastic, you know, a great run stopper. It looks like he didn't play anybody outside of Clemson who had a great game. I I, I like that pick. I think they're going to go ahead and snag him up right then and there. Let's see who else we're going to get. We got three more picks left in this draft class. Two actually back to back here coming up. Um, and you know, I honestly the Falcons they're a little bit away. They might be able to put this team together. And their divisions are actually really easy, so they could shock the world and pull off a W. Wow, all three of the last picks are in the seventh round. Yikes. Um, So maybe they'll go out and get an edge rusher and Looney Phillips here. Decent, you know, eight sacks, ten sacks the year before. Fantastic there. The problem is, is like, a lot of these guys don't play anybody. We're talking around a seventh round draft pick here. I think, honestly, they pull the trigger. Maybe also try to snag up a safety in Jason Taylor the second. I mean, solid season, solid stats. I mean, just wasn't great against anybody. But we're, again, talking about a seventh round guy. I mean, you can't expect too much out of these guys. Most of them probably don't even touch the football field for you. You know, I, I mean, you just kind of have to take what you get here. They might honestly try to snag up a running back in these late rounds. I mean, this dude was absolutely fantastic. Travis Dye. I like that pick. And they're going to go ahead and snag him up. This seems like a little bit of a quicker video. I was a little bit more decisive with my picks than some of the other ones. So we're going to take a look at the grading and just kind of wrap this up real quick. So they quite like basically every pick I made. I mean... They didn't love this one, but eh. And they didn't love this one, but A+, plus, A+, plus, A, 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 A-, 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 A-. Absolutely fantastic draft, according to PFF, for the Falcons. And I think, honestly, if they could pull this off, it will go extremely well for their franchise. And it could help speed up their rebuild. Now, obviously, I don't expect them to draft all these guys. Just because I expect some of these guys to be off the board. But that's the fun part about doing a, a mock draft where I'm not drafting every single player. I don't know what the rest of these guys are doing. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.